Hey friends, are you interested in taking the AZ900 or the Azure Fundamentals exam from Microsoft to learn more about what it looks like to work in the Azure cloud? If so, stay tuned. Before we begin, do you want to learn more about Microsoft Fabric and Azure? Visit prag.works forward slash Austin 40 and you will save 40% on an annual on-demand learning subscription where you will gain access to over 100 courses. Now, on to the video. Hello, my name is Austin Leibel and I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works. And the Pragmatic Works team has recently gone through and made a major update to our on-demand learning platform by including something called Cert XP. Cert XP is going to allow you to change the way that you prepare for examinations, whether it be Microsoft exams like the AZ900 or the PL300, CompTIA exams, or potentially other ones as well. We are going to be having a platform that's going to make learning about taking these exams fun. And to do so, we have created this content called Cert XP. Let me tell you a little bit more about it inside of our on-demand learning portal. This is the Pragmatic Works on demand learning platform, and it has many different courses that you can go through and learn about different topics around working with Azure, working with Power BI, learning T SQL. Now, alongside of this, we have another platform that's going to change the way that you prepare for these examinations called the CERT XP. Now, if you go over to the CERT XP right now, what you're going to find is that there are about five different courses you can sign up for, but we are in the process of making many, many more for yourself. So if you want to go through and you want to learn about how to take the Power Platform Fundamentals course, or if you're interested in learning more about the PL300 to be a Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst, you can come here and you can learn about those things. Now, one of them that I really want to focus on for this video is the Azure Fundamentals exam or the AZ900. Why would you want to take the AZ900 first off? Well, it is a great way to go through and start learning about some of the fundamentals of working inside of the Microsoft Cloud Azure. So if you're either coming from a different cloud environment like Amazon or Google, or you're coming from an on-premises environment and need to learn a little bit more about the different services provided for you when working in the Azure cloud, this would be a great way to go through and start to prepare for that. So you can learn about things like storage, monitoring. You can learn about how to go through a network potentially. Maybe you're focused on trying to go through and get a job around one of these fundamental topics as well, but you need to know a little bit more about it before you start interviewing. This is a great way to go through and get ready for that process. Now, also, if you're interested in taking some further exams that are more detailed, like the Azure Administrator Associate exam or potentially the Azure Solutions Architect, this is a nice foundation to build for yourselves to start scaling up your knowledge and looking for those more difficult exams as well. Now, let's go inside the Azure Fundamentals exam and let's check out what Cert XP is all about. So by going over and starting on this exam right here, you're going to see the certification navigator. And this gives you an experience of kind of going through and essentially working on like a level world building platform where you can go and start out down here with level one and then start to build your knowledge up more and more and more. And each level is going to have a, a more difficult kind of challenge at the end of it that you're going to go through. Well, let's go and let's check out the first module around describing the different cloud service types. I'm going to go ahead and kick this one off here. Now, when I look into this module, what you're going to see is there is a nice little friendly person here who has the ability to kind of talk to you and give you some feedback. And I can actually have this person talk to me if I would like to. When might infrastructure as a service be a suitable choice for cloud deployment according to the scenarios mentioned? That's pretty cool. So if you want to go through and have someone read to you like I do, because I don't want to read myself, that's a nice feature to have for yourself. And then you can go through and see what the answer could possibly be. So when might an infrastructure as a service, something that's more for building infrastructure, be a suitable choice for going through and wanting to choose for cloud development according to the different scenarios that you can work with? Would it be for lift and shift? Maybe not. SaaS environment setup? Probably not. Potentially web application development maybe i think it's going to be lift and shift though let's see boom let's go with that one that's awesome so you can go through and then also once you enter it correctly you can see an explanation that gives you a little bit more details around why it was correct 
Now, what's the next one? An Azure SQL database, when configured as a managed instance, belongs to which cloud service category? Well, let's say we wanted to get this one wrong, or let's say we do get it wrong, and we choose software as a service for ourselves. Oops. Well, that was unfortunate. We got it incorrect, but it does give you a nice explanation and also gives you a chance at the end of the CERT XP world to go through and recover that and be able to get that answer right. So it just kind of takes you through this process of making the learning about the AZ900 or or any of the different CERT XP courses we have on our platform. Very fun to go through. Well, hopefully you're excited for this. If you are, definitely look to sign up for CERT XP and the Pragmatic Works On Demand Learning Platform. You can use my code AUSTIN40 that is down in the description of the YouTube video, and you can grab that to be able to go and sign up for yourself and get either an annual or a monthly license so you can start tackling the AZ900 right away. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully you're interested in CERT XP. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat and I'll answer them. I'll see you in the next one.